What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. I'm really excited about this one because I've had a ton of people ask me what kind of airbrush or airbrush pump that I'm using. And what I was using was an airbrush pump from Harbor Freight and an airbrush from Amazon. Now I've like, as far as that goes, I've used a bunch of different like cheap ones and this and that. So it's kind of hard to give people an exact answer on which ones to purchase. Uh, so what I did was I purchased a kit on Amazon for $83. It comes with an airbrush pump and three airbrushes. So two of the airbrushes are gravity fed. I absolutely love them. I don't want to waste anybody's time. So if you're trying to buy the kit specifically for uh, this airbrush, I don't recommend this airbrush. I don't like it. You'll see it later on in the video. However, for $83 and you get a pump and two great working airbrushes, I think it's a steal. I would like to say that I this video is in no way sponsored by anyone. I purchased the kit on my own, so my opinion of it's my personal opinion, and I'm going to be using these airbrushes as my full-time airbrush kit. I've had it for about a month and a half, I think, and I've been using it full-time. I've probably painted over 100 baits with it already, and I've had no problems with them. So hopefully this kit will be able to help some of you guys get started or if some of you other guys are kind of in this in the same spot where I am where you kind of have like a mix match of different parts put together to make a make a running system. This is a great way, 83 bucks to get things started. I had looked at some cheaper options on Amazon, but the cheaper I went, the worse the reviews got. This one had mostly good reviews. There were some people that had some confusion with things, uh, but I haven't had any issues with it. I would also like to say thank you because there's a whole bunch of new subscribers the last month or two here. I look forward to getting to know more of you people and all the future videos we've got. So without further ado, let's get this video rolling. Okay, everybody, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. I did open this box earlier to make sure that everything was in there, uh, and everything was, but I have not messed with anything yet, and I've been dying to. I got it a couple of days ago, but I've been too busy to mess with it. So this is the box within the box. Uh, it says Professional Airbrushing uh, Paint System Kit. So let's open this bad boy up. And you know, it might be easier just to uh, pull out these first couple things and then I will pull out the compressor. Uh, but right here in the top, we've got the first two airbrushes. They're both gravity or yeah, gravity fed, whatever you want to call it, top fill. So there's airbrush number one. Airbrush number two which should be the smaller one. Got some instructions we don't need. And this, I believe, clips to the top of the air compressor, which I might be making that clip to something else on my desk, but uh, we'll see about that later. All right, I'm going to pull out the compressor, and whenever I check to make sure everything was in here, that other airbrush is on one of these two sides, I forget which. So I'm gonna pull all of it out, have it set up, and then we will come back. All right, well, here's the air compressor we have. Uh, I'm really excited about this because it's supposed to be able to be an adjustable air system. Um, what I'm basically going to do, I don't know, like there's all the specs around the side. Uh, I'm just going to be honest. I don't really know what any of that means. Um, but I will know if it works for painting lures. Um, I'm pretty good at doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and open these. It came with three different airbrushes uh, and one and one hose. So if you're planning on buying this and running two airbrushes at a time, You'll need two hoses. I mean, you'll also need two pumps. Uh, but just so you know, it only comes with the one hose that fits these two brushes. Uh, the third hose, which is a bottom one, a bottom fill, uh, it looks like it has a much smaller adapter, so and that has its own hose inside. I probably won't be using this one that much. I'll definitely be testing it, but I do have a really nice uh, Badger airbrush that's bottom fill. I just don't use them that often because I don't like having to uh, waste so much paint but if you're going to be painting a whole bunch of one color then these would work great what I'm really anxious to do is get into these and see how they look 
and how they feel. So I believe this is the one that is the smaller needle. I need to figure out, I'll put up on the screen the size of the needle. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, it's, but it should be able to do our much finer, uh, finer detail work on it. And I can tell you right off the bat, it feels really nice in the hand. Um, compared to my master airbrush uh, that I was showing you guys earlier. And this airbrush was $30 from Amazon just for the airbrush itself. Um, this one actually feels almost heavier, believe it or not, which I like the way that feels in my hand. Uh, so it does not feel cheap is what I'm getting at. I'm going to just keep this short and simple. That's the brush. Uh, we'll be pulling it out later, doing some testing with both of them. It does come with these little tools, which I recommend holding on to because if you're going to, uh, and this had happened to me on that master airbrush, uh, I, why I don't know, but this little bitty tip broke off. And so I had to take it out and put a replacement one on there. So you definitely want to hold on to that tool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set this one aside and we'll move on to the next one. See how she feels in the hand. I do like the cases. I will say that. Second one, which should be pretty, I mean, it's pretty darn close to the brush I already have, which I'm excited about because I use that a lot. Second one feels the same, nice and heavy. Button feels decent. Again, you know, we're it's $80 for the whole kit. So I'm not expecting these things to be like a Ferrari. Howdy there. I'm not expecting these things to be like a Ferrari, but compared to what I'm used to using, you know, it, it feels pretty well the same. But yeah, I would say uh, just from touching them, they feel great. And I'm very anxious to get them, get them rolling. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the air pump. We'll start off with the bigger brush and just run some Windex through it probably to make sure that there is no um, oils or anything that's in there that might affect our paint. Okie doke. I'm going to get this all set up and we'll be right back. So we've got the air compressor plugged into an extension cord and we got the cable that came with it hooked up to the brush. Uh, I have not made any adjustments or done anything at all with it. I'm going to turn it on. We'll hope it doesn't explode and then we'll run some uh, cleaner through there. So here goes the compressor. And out of the box, it stops at about 60 PSI, I would think. So somewhere right in that area. That works. It does make a little bit of a rattling sound. Oh, okay. I would have this sitting on the on the tabletop, but if I did, it would be uh, shaking the cameras everywhere. So I'm going to put a little bit of Windex in there. Going to grab our little jar. Seems like it went through without much problem. Oh yeah. I might, uh, we're gonna just try it straight out of the box. I'm going to put some, let's see, what color do I have here that's pretty thin. We're gonna put some uh, bright hot pink on there. Straight from the can, it's a Createx paint brand. I got quite a bit of paint in there, but that's all right. We're gonna be doing a couple tests with it. And just a blank piece of paper. So I'm going to see without making any adjustments to anything, how she works. And out of the box, I am really happy with that. All right, I'm going to start as thin as I can and go to as wide as it'll let me go. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually really shocked with how well this works. Uh, 
I mean, that's pretty crude, but I uh, get the idea. Okay, well, I'm uh, very happy with that. I'm gonna try bumping the pressure down a little bit and we'll see what it does differently. So there we have it at about 20 PSI. And we're gonna see what this does. I notice when you have really low pressure, it'll spit like that. Sometimes that paint will build up because there's not enough air pushing it out. So if you're having that issue, you might need a little bit more uh, air behind it. And then also make sure you're letting off your paint before you let off on the pressure. Oh yeah, and if there's any any beginners out there, I've kind of uh, failed so far at, uh, I'm so, super excited to be messing with these. Uh, I have failed to really explain if you're new to airbrushing uh, these are dual action airbrushes so you push down that gives you your air and when you pull back that gives you your paint depending on the level that you pull back uh, that's how much paint's going to be coming out so like I did earlier on this one uh, started off with barely pulling back to pulling back all the way and all the paint that I had in there uh, is pretty well empty and I'll do another video on just like airbrushing for beginners I feel like that would be good I'm not uh, an expert by any means but I have a couple tips that might be able to help some people I've been doing it for a while um, so I'm fairly confident that I would be able to help somebody else uh, so I'm super super happy with the way this brush works I'm gonna clean out the paint that is in there and then we're gonna switch over to the other brush and see how it works I'm curious if that other one is the one that's got the smaller uh, needle and the not necessarily the needle but the whole thing should be able to spray smaller I'm curious if my paint will come out without it being watered down so I'm going to like I said clean out this brush uh, hook up the other airbrush and then we'll do some tests with that one too and then we'll paint some lures we got the other brush connected air seems like it's working pretty good I'm gonna do the same thing and put just a smidge of Windex in there clean out any oils that might be in our way I would say it'd probably be good to take the whole brush apart and clean it first but I just want to do straight out of the box can you use the brush as is without doing anything to it uh, and running that uh, Windex here it will just clean out any oils that's in there that way if there is, is anything to clog it'll be gone I'm going to try another color this is an opaque black straight from the can uh, nothing's thinned out let's see what happens and I have the compressor bumped up to about 40 psi um, so we're gonna start with that and see what happens so I think I've actually got for this brush too too much air so I'm gonna try to bump that down uh, you can see all that overspray shooting off I think I got too much airflow so this should be about 20 PSI. See how this looks. That's much better. And also like however close you're, you know, if you're holding it really close versus if you're holding it further out. Uh, so a combination between the two. I think I was holding this pretty far out whenever I sprayed that. Uh, but we need it a little bit closer. So what I'm actually going to do is lay this flat here, or semi-flat. Here's what we'll do. We'll use these and kind of hold that for us. And we're going to see how detailed we can get with this. That is really, really hideous looking, but it works extremely well. I'm very, very excited about this. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would say uh, definitely at this point recommend this kit. Very, very happy with it. Um, I do want to see really quick if this has... Okay, no, it does not. Uh, my other airbrush that I have gives you the option. So this is my master airbrush from Amazon. Uh, it has this little doohickey right here, and this adjusts in and out. So if you're trying to keep yourself from pulling, let's just say you only that full paint, and you only want half paint, this will let you screw it in. So it stops however far you want it to go in. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know why I'm asking like you can respond while I'm talking right now. But uh, so it does not have that. Neither one of these do. Actually, I might have spoke too soon. The finer airbrush does not, but it looks like the bigger one does have that option. Go on a little bit more. Okay, yeah, so the bigger brush does have that option. I take that back. Bigger brush has that option. The smaller brush does not. I guess for the smaller brush, you don't necessarily need it. Um, but yeah, so I am extremely happy with both of these. Uh, I will go ahead and hook up the last airbrush and we'll do a little test to make sure she runs good. Not really sure what that is, kind of looks like a butt. I rarely use the bottom fill brushes like this. So I'm gonna test it, make sure it works, but I'm not going to be putting it through its paces like I will in these other ones. So if you're specifically buying this kit because of this brush, uh, I, I won't have a solid answer for you on it. Uh, these other brushes, what I'm getting ready to do is paint about 30 baits, and I'm going to be using both of these new gravity fed brushes. I'll be using my old pump and the new pump. So I'll have two brushes, two colors, and we'll have them both going at the same time. So I'm gonna paint all those tonight, uh, tonight and tomorrow night, and then I'll come back and let you guys know how it did uh, once I painted more than a weird looking smiley face on a piece of paper. But let's go ahead and hook this up. We'll see how she works and then we'll go from there. Okay, so this one in the hand feels a little bit more cheaper. It's all plastic. And I, this one is not a dual action. So I guess whenever you, whatever you push down, that's when it's going to come out. So this will actually be kind of a learning experience for me. I've never used a brush like this before. This, I don't know if that's supposed to come apart. Oh, well, there's nothing in the back. Yeah, so this is a, this is a new one. So, <laughs> Let's see how it works. But I got this one hooked up and I will say right off the bat, this hose and everything about this one feels really, really cheap to me. Those other airbrushes, I definitely give a 10 out of 10, you know, especially for the price, you can't beat that one. Just the feeling on this one, I would give it a solid two. Uh, but we're about to see what's going to happen. Picked on the air pump. I got some transparent orange loaded into the brush. I need to find my piece of paper. Got the piece of paper here, and we're gonna give this a whirl. I have never, like I said, never used one of these, so this is new. Mm. Nothing is happening. If there's somebody out there that knows exactly how to use this brush, they're probably cringing right now, or there's something wrong with the brush. I would think it would just be a push. I probably shouldn't aim it at my face though. I'm guessing. I wonder if I was supposed to have used this one. That is quite different looking. Okay, um, you know what? I wonder if this is supposed to go on the compressor. Okay, well, let, let me uh, read the instructions and we'll come back to this one. Uh, so give me a second. So I didn't really do anything different. I just unscrewed this and screwed it back in. And now we got air coming through. Um, there is no paint coming through yet. So I got to figure that out. Uh, and this could all for this one be operator air. I 
Like I said, I've never used a brush like this before. So it could 1 million percent be operator error. Um, the instructions that came with it are kind of unclear. It says uh, attach air regulator to air hose, attach air regulator to propel can, attach other end of air hose to airbrush by turning in clockwise motion onto fitting. So I don't know if this is not supposed to connect to the compressor. The air re regulator valve is designed for propellant cans. It will adjust pressure from 15 to 50 PSI for larger jobs and prolonged spraying compressor CO tank is recommended. When air is regulated, pressure should be between 15 to 50 PSI. Normal operating pressure is 30. And we're sitting at about 40 PSI. So uh, let's see. What am I missing? I'm missing something. Job. Jar adapter for three quarter ounce and two ounce jar. Okay, so this that other piece, this is just for a different type of jar or for that uh, compressor air uh, for the propel can. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm missing on this one. Maybe it takes a while to get the paint coming through. All right, well, we're going to uh, come back to this one later. I'm going to do some research on it and figure out if I can see what I'm doing wrong here. Maybe... Oh, the paint got all the way up to there. Okay. Are we really going to play this game? So there is paint coming through it now. I'm going to bump up the pressure a little bit more. So that's about 50-ish. Maybe around 60 PSI. They were finally getting some paint coming through. I just don't know how I feel about this. All right, so I think that shuts off our paint. And that opens it. Okay. So maybe it just took that long. I think it might have just taken that long to get it primed. So I'll say this, not necessarily my cup of tea, doesn't mean it's bad. Um, I will, now that it's primed, so I guess you just have to let it prime. It's literally just a button you push and paint comes out. So that could be useful for some people. If you're really starting off, maybe you might want to look into a brush like this. Uh, I think I definitely prefer to use a top fill one where you have control over it. But also a point and shoot brush isn't a terrible thing. I was kind of knocking it earlier. Uh, it's not my cup of tea. So if you're wanting a point and shoot, uh, you might want to go look for uh, somebody else that knows more about these because I am not, not the guy for that. I will say now that it's prime though, it does work. So we're three for three on the airbrushes. Uh, I am going to just go ahead and say it right now. I'm not going to be using this one. It's just not, not my cup of tea. It does work. It feels very cheap. That's, uh, that's my honest opinion. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and clean this out the best that I can. And I'm going to focus on using those two gravity fed brushes, which is the main reason I bought the kit. Um, and those I will be using all the time for lures as long as they hold up to the test I'm about to put them through. So if you're looking for a brush like this, uh, you'll need to find somebody else besides me that knows more about them. I apologize about that, but know that it does work out of the kit. I have it sitting at about 50 to 60-ish PSI, and it takes a while to prime the paint to get it through. Uh, and this is the other thing I don't like. If you're looking to buy an airbrush or getting the starting buy starting airbrushing, definitely recommend a top fed. It's easy to, easy to clean. You use very little paint. You don't have to have a whole bunch of jars with different colors of paint. You just put a couple of drips in there. So I'll say that looking to start, I would start off right with a gravity fed one. 
Uh, doesn't mean these aren't useful for other areas. This is just my personal opinion. I know all kinds of people like cake, de cake decorators and like uh, makeup artists and people like that use these. I've seen these a lot of times with people using them. Uh, just not my cup of tea. So we're going to go ahead and move on and we will start painting a bait. I'll run you guys through the first bait as I'm painting it and then I will go ahead and paint the rest of them and I will come back to you with uh, my final answer and also I'm going to throw the air compressor up on the table real quick here in a bit and I'm going to show you guys how to adjust the air on that. I know it's probably going to shake the table and you know freak out the cameras a little bit but that is all right. Okay so we got the air compressor moved up on the table here and I'm going to show you guys really quick how to adjust the air pressure. I noticed when I looked at the reviews on this some people were complaining because they didn't there was no really clear instructions on how to adjust the air pressure. Super simple so when we turn the pump on there's the on off switch. I apologize about the screen shaking uh, and you can see I've been running it at about 40 psi which has been working great for both brushes for me. All you have to do to adjust the air pressure is this black piece pops up and then you twist it. So righty tighty is more air, lefty loosey is less air. So when you go more air you can see the needle moving up there. And then also whenever you're going lower with air I notice you have to uh, let some air out of your system. So right now if we're going to drop it below 40 the needle doesn't really move, but as soon as I hit the air, goes back down to about that 40 range. And you just pop this back down. Uh, and then at the be very beginning of this video, when I first turned this on, I had mentioned something about hearing a rattling sound. It was just this little red cap right here, and this is for that attachment to hold the airbrushes. So that's all that was rattling. It just wasn't tightened down. But that's it. You just pop up righty tighty lefty loosey and it even has a plus and a minus you can't really see it very well but a plus and a minus for uh, more air pressure or less air pressure but that's how the pump works it's been working great for me i absolutely love it <laughs> Okay, so for painting these fishing lures, I had the smaller diameter needle on the smaller airbrush was connected to my old pump, which is an air pump from Harbor Freight, and then I had the bigger airbrush connected to the new pump, and I was running it at about 40 psi on the new pump, so on these baits I took the bigger brush and sprayed all the base coats, so like the yellows and the orange, and then I went back in, as you can see here with the smaller brush, and was able to spray some really fine red lines uh, following that black detail that's on there. So again, this kit was $83. Uh, I know if you purchased a $300 kit, it's probably going to be a little bit better than this one, but I've had no problems with it. And comparing it to what I was using, uh, I'd say they're just as good, if not better. Having the pump where you can actually adjust the air is really nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any other questions or something I may have missed uh, on this video, please make sure you comment them below and I will do my best to answer every question. I will catch you guys next time with another video.